advice because this is the most important is keep in mind that there are difficult roads if you thought that Miami was bad if you thought that your four lane highway was bad it has like a little ding or a dent or a little pothole potholes are king in Jamaica you'll be a PhD pothole dodger once you really take time on the roads because they are a maze like you can't need for speed then you have to like Mm, you might get a flat after dropping in one of the potholes. So make sure your insurance turn up. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are having a great day wherever in the world you are. Welcome. If you don't know me, my name is Alexi and today we are going to be talking about the 9 key things to know about renting a car in Jamaica. It's going straight into the first one. Do not wait until you reach Jamaica people. Don't wait till you reach. Wherever in the world you are, book before you travel because it will be less expensive, no doubt. You have a better chance of finding a deal the earlier you book because at that time you can keep an eye out for all the price reductions, the deals and you can pick the car that you want, not the car that you see when you reach the people in place. The second tip that I'm not sure that you guys know is that you do not need an international driving permit. I know especially for residents in the United States and most other countries do not require an international driving permit in order to drive in Jamaica. You just need a valid driver's license from your country or state and that is all that's required to buy a car for up to three whole months. A very important tip because I know you guys do not drive on the left. So in Jamaica, we drive on the left, all right? <laughs> so keep that in mind when you want to rent a car in Jamaica. It takes some getting used to, but I know you guys can do it. That is a reminder. It's a sign, so make sure that when you come to Jamaica, you don't clap nobody on the road because you are used to driving on the right hand side. Drive on the left at all times. So another tip is that rent doesn't have to be paid in Jamaican dollars, it can be paid in US dollars but when you do that it will cost you more when you look at it okay unless you're going to pay beforehand if you're going to find that you have to have last minute rentals then just convert your money to local currency and pay in Jamaican dollars that way you save your money. <laughs> And like I said, if you find yourself where you are paying with a credit card, if they tell you to um, make a deposit for your credit card to handle the transaction in wherever country you're coming from, but to avoid paying fees for the dynamic currency conversion, just pay local currency. Just, just do it because you know, fees are not cute. No. You. <laughs> and if you are a credit card holder and you want to pay with your credit card, then let the, the credit card company deal with that. Don't let the people them in Jamaica deal with the conversion because you will pay dearly for the inconvenience. Another tip is that you don't have to drive stick shift. Some people think that it is the most difficult thing to do and some people opt for it for some strange reason. But if that's your cup of tea, fine but you don't have to there are automatic transmissions available in jamaica when you rent a car so if you're not used to it opt for the automatic if you don't like it do not drive it <laughs> there are many reputable rental car businesses that provide it and it is a breeze especially when you're trying to avoid potholes in jamaica you want to have one less step to think about so automatic is a goal. Another tip is that verify the coverage on your credit card again. As long as your credit card benefits are in effect, you are not needed to purchase a rental car insurance in Jamaica. So before you depart for Jamaica, get in touch with your credit card provider to find out what insurance it provides for local auto rentals. And when in doubt, it's better to be safe than sorry because it will cost you more money if they bamboozle you. 
Another important tip is before you drive the people them car, go through a thorough inspection. Don't care how long it takes, take the person with you and go through an inspection. Inspect your car before you drive in order to safeguard yourself from any damage claims. Keep track of all the things, the scratches, the dents, and use your smartphone to take a picture of any flaws beforehand so you don't have to pay for them when you are ready to give out the car. Because it's sure you don't want to be held responsible for any things left by prior tenants on the winding roads. Because the worst thing when you try to give back the people them car and then tell you say you can't get back the deposit because there is a dent on the side of the <laughs> car and you're just like I never put no dent there. I was very cautious. Like what are you saying? Our next tip is avoid straying too far from civilization. So since not all areas are Google Maps, plan your route in advance and it will help you from getting lost. It will help you from going into some areas that you don't know and some areas that are crime areas. And we don't want that for you guys. So make sure that you <laughs> keep on the Google route. Keep on the Google route. Advice, because this is the most important, is keep mind that there are difficult roads. If you thought that Miami was bad, if you thought that your four lane highway was bad, it has like a little ding or a dent or a little pothole. Potholes are king in Jamaica. There are so many of them, like you don't even understand. You'll be swerving and dodging and preventing and all sorts of things like you'll be a phd possible dodger once you finish in jamaica especially if you're not going to take a tour guide and you're going to rent a car and go <laughs> ah, ah. it's really in kingston if you guys stay in kingston if you stay anywhere to be honest because once you're not on the highway you're going to drop in a pothole so if you see a pothole just take time ease into it or if you can avoid it swerve around it and take time take time on the roads because they are a maze it's like you can't need for speed them you have to like <laughs> so take your time okay because the roads are difficult it's treacherous and there are times where you might get a flap after dropping in one of the bottles so make sure your insurance turn up so that is all the tips I have, the advice, the need to know and the take care of yourself points. I hope they were insightful, I hope they were valuable and I hope when you come to Jamaica you take these tips and you run with them because when renting a car it is very expensive so might as well be most comfortable. Alright, hope they helped like I said guys, I'm gonna go do something else. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, great week, great month, great year. It doesn't matter as long as it's great and you guys are doing awesome. Stay safe, stay sweet. Bye.